Hey y'all, welcome to B's Intuition. I'm B, and I'm here to do a message for the sign of Scorpio. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth. So if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. Spirit, I ask that you allow me to channel the message that you have for myself and the collective. If there is any negative energy around me, I ask that you remove it. If there is any black magic or spells coming my way or the collective's way, I ask that you block them. We thank you and we love you. All right. Scorpios. So I said this in, you know, um, the Cancer and Pisces um, videos last night when I was meditating on the energy, uh, the water sign energies. Um, I got three different words for each sign. And so your word, Scorpio, is healing. And so you could be healing, you know, your finances. You could be healing from, you know, um, some type of work situation. You could be healing from, you know, some type of spell work. Yeah. You could be healing from some type of deception. So, we're just going to go ahead and hop in and see what's going on. Spirit, allow me to be the channel. What's the message? We're going to take all of them. So the first card that came out was read between the lines. And the card says, you will find the answers someone will tell you without telling you. Alrighty. And so whoever this person is that, you know, could possibly be withholding information from you I feel as though you could have been on uh, on a long journey with this person you could have been you know in this person's life for a very 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 long time and so with the read between the lines I feel as though someone is carrying carrying around guilt um, they know that they need to tell you something but they basically are refusing to tell you something and so you know you're going to find the answers about whatever this is you know without this person you know telling you something Or telling you what it is, excuse me. Whoever this is, you could have already read between the lines. You could have already found out something that, you know, someone was doing um, without them telling you. Yeah. And so whoever this is, they possibly, you know, are trying to figure things out in their life. Um, but they know they were wrong. They know they should have told you. And whoever this is, you know, they feel it's like uh, they want to come towards you and try to fix it and make it right with you. Because you have already you found out something that they didn't even, that they didn't mean. Woo. Yeah, somebody definitely is gossiping. Somebody's definitely talking about you, Scorpio. They're rambling and rambling and rambling. Take a deep breath. And out. All right. So yeah. You could have already found out something that this person was hiding from you without them telling you. And so, um, because you've already read between the lines, this person is basically trying to figure out how to come back towards you and make it right with you. Whoever this is, um, you know, they could be a businessman, but, uh, this businessman card gives me King of Pentacles energy. Um... And whoever this is, you know, they could have told you that, you know, they will take care of you, that you're the only one, you know, that they are attracted to. But if you can read the card, it says slow to commit. I don't know if y'all can see that. And so, yeah, there's a reason why um, this person, you know, is slow to commit. There's a reason why this person, uh, you know, withheld information from you and you had to figure it out by yourself. And it could have been something that this person has been doing for a long time. Why is it like that? Spirit, put one on read between the lines. Yeah, the emperor. The emperor, so yeah. And this businessman, too, gives me emperor energy. So yeah, this is the same person, Scorpio. So yeah. 
Aries energy. But I feel as though, yeah, whoever this is, they were basically trying to control the situation between you two. And so that's why they, you know, didn't tell you whatever it is that you had already read between the lines about and found found out about. Two of Swords. You could have blocked this person out. And so with that being said, this person, yeah, they're trying to figure it out. They're trying to find, figure out a way to basically come back towards you and make things right with you. But remember, whoever this is, they're definitely slow to commit for a reason. Figuring it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I feel as though, you know, they definitely are trying to figure it out because they want to be, you know, come from being out, left out in the cold. And they also want to, you know... Um, for you to, you know, let them back in, take your guards down, take them off block. Some of you, you put them on block or you're just not communicating with this person. Um, but at the end of the day, yes, they have basically, you know, blocked someone out. So the information that you received could have possibly been that they were, you know, involved with someone else for a long time. And so they were trying to control the situation between you and them. Basically, they wanted to be with you, but they were in another situation. And so you blocked this person out. But this person has blocked someone else out um, and basically left them out in the cold because they're trying to figure out how to come back towards you to make it right with you. The world card. Yeah, they've left someone out in the cold and, you know, they basically are ending, you know, the cycle with this person. But they're basically doing it because they do want to be with you. The problem is, you know, they're still slow to commit. So what else is going on? Businessman. Yeah, this is what's going on. They're slow to commit because they're still dealing with dramatic things they're still dealing with toxic things you know they could be you know their family could be toxic or you know they're just around I mean they're just drama five of wands just gives me drama y'all yeah so they've ended something with one person and they possibly want to try to figure it uh, fix things with you but they're still slow to do that because they're still in some type of drama situation five of wands The Empress. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you read between the lines when it comes to, you know, whoever this masculine is and you block this masculine out. You know, they're trying to figure it out. They're trying to figure out, you know, how to come back towards you and trying to make things work because, you know, they're left out in the cold. They possibly, you know, don't have a house, don't have a car, you know, don't have too much of anything. Yeah, and you ended it with them. You ended it with them because they were bringing drama your way. And so, you know, that's why they're still slow to commit because they're still going to bring drama in your life. Yeah, by juggling. Mm -hmm. The Emperor, Two of Swords. Yeah, and you blocked this person out because, yeah, you found out that they had a sneaky link. And you could have possibly found out because you could have, you know, seen them on a date or seen them, you know, doing something that they had no business doing. And so that's why this person got blocked out. <laughs> Five of Pentacles, the world. Yeah, so yeah, this person is trying to figure out, you know, how to come back towards you to make it right with you because they're left because they're out in the cold and you definitely have ended, you know, 
something with this person. The fact of the matter is they're still slow to commit because, you know, they have drama going on in their lives. And, and, and basically, you know, they could possibly be trying to attach the drama to you. Um, you read between the lines and you figured out that this person has a sneaky link, you know, and they basically are romantically dating this person. Well, this person, you know, wants to come out of the cold, you know, and they could possibly be ending the drama, you know, in their lives or that's what they're going to, uh, that's what they're saying. Um, but because they have unfinished business, that's what they feel like is that you guys have unfinished business. They want a second chance with you to show you that, I can, that they can be the one for you. Secrets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they still, you know, are being deceitful. They're still, you know, going to mislead you. Um, they don't want you to know, um, you know, what still what's going on. And so I feel as though they they are with this unfinished business and secrets. They could possibly tell you that they want a second chance with you, but there's but they're dealing with some unfinished business somewhere else as well. Five of Wands and the Empress. They're slow to commit because they're in a yeah, a drama filled situation with another controlling person. I mean the Emperor and the Empress, you know, is usually, you know, good good things, but I'm just feeling controlling vibes. Five of Wands, the Empress. Yeah, and whoever this the Empress is definitely could be, um, uh, you know, the mother of their children or the mother of the child or something like that. So they could have be having baby mama, baby daddy drama. Oh, money issues. <laughs> money issues. So yeah, they're having conflict with their baby mama, baby daddy, whoever it is. That's why they're sold to commit. And the, the conflict is due to money. And then relocating came in the reverse. So, you know, they can't even move. Because of money issues, they have to stay where they're at. They can't move. And so with this Five of Pentacles energy, it gives me... You know, they could possibly have to basically get up out of their house and possibly stay with family members or something like that. Or they, you know, lost their, you know, roof over their head and they could possibly had went and lived with the mother of their child. And that's causing conflict because, you know, this person is having money issues and possibly their baby mama. So, yeah, they're stuck. Yeah, they try to put on you know put on just to impress my pockets but my pockets don't fit the persona whoever this person is they're yeah they're wearing a mask they're definitely fake sneaky link and romantic date yeah ten of pentacles and so whoever the sneaky link is, they just basically, are, you know, are basically telling this person that they want to be, yeah, and happy with them and in a relationship with them uh, just for the pinnacles, ten of pinnacles, financial, you know, stability. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be revealed to you that, yeah, this person is still involved uh, in a toxic situation ship. King of pinnacles. In the tower. Unfinished business and secrets. Yeah, you could have waited for this person for a long time, like I said in the beginning. Yeah, that's, yeah. So, yeah. They just want to, you know, to fulfill their wishes, their, their, their you know, with through people for money. I just keep picking this energy up. Yeah, but the fact of the matter is, you know, whatever the secrets are, you know, they basically, uh, you know, could have addictions as well. They're overdoing something. Money issues, relocating in the reverse. The chariot. Yeah. But they, you know, are in a, you know, a situation ship, Ten of Pentacles. You know, it could be a family situation, but they're only there for money. So they're only fulfilling their wishes and dreams uh, with money. They're not, 
they're not fulfilled in this ten pinnacle situation. Um, and so, yeah, with that being said, whatever they are doing for money, ten of pinnacles, nine of cups, um, yeah, them moving forward might be stopped. For some of you, you know, this person is overdoing it, you know, to the point that they could possibly be going to jail. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles and the Lovers. So, yeah. They're in a situation ship. But they, you know, are trying to act, trying to figure, trying to act like they're figuring out how to get to you. Mm -mm. Yeah, Six of Swords. Yeah. And, you know, they're overdoing whatever they're doing. Or they're just, you know, involved in a lot of um, addictions and stuff. But whoever this is, um, they do want to come towards you and reconcile. The problem is, this person might be going to jail. They might be, yeah, moving forward to go to jail. The Chariot. It then we have the Hierophant. So yeah, for some of you, yep, this person is going to jail or they're in jail. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, because they do want to come towards you and reconcile. But at the same time, you know, they could definitely be having some legal issues with the chariot and the hierophant here. Ten of Pentacles, the lovers. Yep. Yep. And so, yeah, you found out. You know, that this person was trying to control things. You blocked them out because you knew that they had a sneaky link, that they were romanticizing. You know, you you, you knew, you knew, or you found out that they were in a family situation with this sneaky link. And uh, they were there for money. This could definitely be your divine counterpart, but what does it matter if, you know, this person is still doing what they're doing? And so, with that being said, you're tired of this person. This person stresses you out. You're overloaded, you know, by this person's actions, and you're burnt out by this person's actions. And this person, they feel rejected. Nine of Cups, Six of Swords. Nine of Cups, Six of Swords. Please just give me one baby on this nine of cups and six of swords. Thank you. I love you. Doors open. The card says, Go for it. Take a leap of faith. They're ready. <laughs> oh, what was the other card? Oh, no. Y'all. We're gonna have to do it all over. No, we not. Yeah, this person is definitely hiding something. Y'all, the card that was just right here. I don't know where it went. I don't know where it went. Yeah, this person is hiding something. And they yeah. Spirit put another one on the Ten of Pentacles and the Lovers. I mean, I know it possibly probably went back in the deck, but I don't remember picking it up. So whoever this person is, they sneaky. Sneaky as heck.
Yeah. And because you know that this person is in a Ten of Pentacles situation and you know that this possibly could be your divine counterpart, they know that you know what they're doing. And so they feel as though you're going to start over. You know, they're, they feel as like you're moving on, you know, you're tired of it and you're not going to compromise. Yeah. And yeah. So we have a mature man here. Earth sign. Young, grounded, practical, self-made, ambitious, owns everything. So, yeah. They feel as though you could possibly be going towards, you know, someone else. Nine of Cups, Six of Swords. I can't believe that. Yeah, the same thing. <laughs> Nine of Cups and Six of Swords and then Mystery Lover. So, yeah, they're real, They're feeling really strong that, you know, you're moving on and you're, you know, going towards, you know, someone else. Put one on Mystery Lover. Yeah, because they know they overdid whatever they did. They know they did too much. And, they're yeah, they feel like that you're, you know, going towards someone else. Just one, please. Ready? Yeah. Show off. So whoever this is, whoever your person is, because they feel as though, you know, you're going towards someone else, they possibly could try to floss some money in front of you, trying to flex their ego. Um, but the fact of the matter is, they're having money issues. And you already know that. So I don't even know why they're trying to do whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And, and this is what they're going to do to themselves. Confuse them freaking selves. Because they were the player. You know? <laughs> While you were over here loving on yourself, pampering on yourself. They were already involved. Yeah. And so they created trust issues. The chariot. The higher pitch. And so, yeah. Uh... So you could have already, you know, because if you this the frustrated card landed between mature man and mystery lover. So for some of you, um, you could be you could have already, you know, started over and went towards someone, and you could have, you know, a mystery lover as well. Um, and so you definitely could be frustrated with both of these individuals. But as far as, you know, this person moving forward, you know, and things of that nature, I feel as though there is some type of legal situation with the chariot and the hierophant here that, you know, has you frustrated as well. So this person, you know, could go to jail a lot. And so you're tired of that too. You're burnt out on that too. Put one on frustrated. And it could be frustrating you that, you know, um, if this person is locked up, that they're still doing deceitful stuff being locked up, you know, but pissed off. So you're frustrated because um, of this person's, you know, legal stuff that they got going on in their, their life. So this person could go to jail a lot. So you're tired of that. And they're mad because they could possibly be going to jail. And so they're pissed off because they're getting caught. Their secrets are revealed. They're exposed. They're guilty. Confessions. Uh, starting over, mature man. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. So yeah. We have seven of cups and three of cups. So yeah. Yeah. So they feel like that you're starting over. But at the same time, you know, whoever this is, they do have a lot of options. They do have a lot of third party, you know, situations. And it was revealed to you. Mystery lovers, show off. Mm hmm. The sun. Definitely was revealed. Justice. Mm hmm. So, yeah, justice is going to be served in your favor. Um, but it was revealed to you that, you know, they, you know, do have a sneaky link. You know, they do have options. You know, um, they, they're they definitely involved in some type of legal situation. They could be in jail. You know, it's something about this uh, options with this third party is going to re be revealed, you know, in the court system. Justice. Yeah, this person has a lot going on, a lot of secrets. And that's why you walked away. Frustrated, pissed off. Yeah. Frustrated because, yeah, justice is being served. So when it comes to this legal uh, situation, um, whoever this person is, they're being deceitful when it comes to a Queen of Pentacles energy. And so, yeah, they could tell you that they're walking away from this person just to be able to come towards you and offer you some type of offer. But, you know, it's going to be revealed to you that what goes around comes around their karma. They're hold, still holding on to this person. And, yeah, they're missing an opportunity because they're stuck for money, pretty much. Wow, Scorpios. So this is what you're healing from, pretty much. So you've decided to move, you know, uh, start over. You know. Moving out or moving on. I'm tired of this. You won't compromise. So, yeah. Definitely healing from, you know, everything that, you know, took place with this person. And again, for some of you, this person could definitely be going to jail. Or this person, you know, um, is already in jail. The jail card didn't come out, but certain cards in the tarot together makes me feel like, you know, it could be some legal stuff going on. But whoever this is, they definitely feel left out in the cold. But it's because they should have ended, you know, cycles a long time ago. And they know, you know, they know that they should have, you know, ended things in order for them to, you know, have something with you. They should have ended it, but they didn't. And so, yeah. <laughs> you walked away. Because you're healing. Alright, spirit. Give us some more for the Scorpios before we go. Please and thank you. Yeah. Yep, this person is still in between lovers. And, yeah, there is some type of court situation going on. Some type of legal situation going on. Could be a divorce, separation, a breakup. Yep. And this person also has many other options in love. But I feel as though this person... Yeah. Look. Divine masculine. Masculine energy at the bottom of the deck. Getting a wake-up call. So, uh, they could think that you have many options in love. Just because they do. Yeah, somebody's getting some money from a court situation. So if it's child support court, the baby mama is getting some money. Yeah, something's backfiring. The tables are turning. So Scorpio, you could possibly be getting some money from a situation, uh, from a court situ. Excuse me, situation. Um, what's backfiring and uh, the tables are turning on 
um, is this person because they got kicked to the curb. So they feel as though, you know, everything is just, yeah, a tower moment. What else, spirit? Yeah. They regret the fact that they did what they did. And they're guilty. Because they're going through disaster, loss, and chaos now. There definitely could be an investigation going on. Or, you know, there is some information, you know, about this court situation. But because, but I do believe that, you know, the whatever this court situation is, it did backfire on somebody. And so now there is an investigation. For some of you, your person was bound to a spell. Because someone found out, someone else, not you, found out that they had many options in love. And so they basically, you know, uh, kind of bound them to a spell. But this is after you kicked this person to the curb. So this person wants to come back towards you and they could possibly be bound to a spell. For some of you. What else, Spirit? Yeah, lawsuit. So this person definitely regrets something that they did because they are guilty of something. And so with that being said, there is some type of lawsuit going on as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Spirit is saying, just throw it in a dumpster, throw it away. This ain't going to work. <laughs> the time is now, Spirit says. Not later, now. Throw it away, now. Yeah, because it's not you. It's It's them. That, that your person or that person and they need to stop lying they don't want to go through a transformation that's another thing that's wrong with this person yeah and again hiding secrets they could have possibly stole something from you yeah they don't like your boundaries that you have either what else for the Scorpio's spirit? Yeah. Legal issues. So, yeah, they're def they definitely stole something. And so, with this legal issue, the court, lawsuit, money from a court situation, investigation, information. Ooh. Divine feminine. So, you definitely could be a part of this legal issue that you don't know about. So, yeah, they try to, they need to stop lying. They are hiding secrets that somebody stole something from you. So, there is a legal, ooh, it's an earth sign. It's an earth sign. That is nervous, guilty, and anxious. So your person knows that somebody stole something from you. Um, and it is a legal issue for you, Divine Feminine. So if it, it could be a Divine Feminine Earth sign or Divine Feminine does an Earth sign that stole something from you. Uh, they're nervous and guilty. Definitely could be a third party. Why? Because they're envious and jealous of you. And because you could have spoken some type of truth. But this person's time is up. They can no longer play on your emotions anymore. And with the release from jail or prison uh, in the reverse, whoever, your, whoever this person is, they are definitely not getting released. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of gossiping and lying going on as well. And it's because somebody is getting karma. Somebody's under judgment. Yeah. Ending something, you know, from with a toxic energy. So, you know, with that being said, y'all, I do believe that, you know, you're healing from, you know, whatever this situation is, really. And uh, I just feel like this person, you know, they're getting what they get and they can't throw a fit, you know. Plain and simple. That's it. That's all. You got anything else, Spirit? Yeah. Mm hmm. But we already knew that. We already knew that. So, Scorpios, that has been your message. I hope it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys soon.